It's finally out. Scene three. Let's get into this. Torture talk. All right, man. Let's get into this. Today I'm going to be reviewing Director's Cut Scene 3. But before we get into that, like, share, subscribe to the page. Tell your family about me. You know what it is. If you want to donate, Cash App is in the description. Donate whatever you feel. You know. So, let's get into this, man. So, Ransom, Jersey City artist, he dropped a new album. So, I want to get into scene scene one and two first. Scene one and two is my favorite and the best albums I heard this year. Period. So, I gave scene one and two together a 10. And I rarely give out 10s. There's only a couple of artists I gave 10s to. Ransom is one of the three. So... That album, those two right there, yes, a 10. This album is better than those albums. Now, I can't give him an 11, but this is a certified classic. Off the first listen, I didn't have to listen to it three or four times, but I did. But after I heard it the first time, I, you know, I literally zoned, I put, I put my headphones on, put them in my head and I just laid back and just listened to the music. I didn't, you know, critique it. I, I just listened to it. I didn't say, well, let me look at these bars. I didn't critique it until maybe the third time I listened to it. There's no flaws on this album. This album if I had to say it, it's a perfect album. F far as production-wise, far as rap-wise, far as everything he did, he did it correctly. He didn't overdo it. He didn't underdo it. So you gotta, if you got a song that calls for this type of emotion, he put that into it. If you have a song that's hard, he put that into it. He did everything he was supposed to do. This is why I say this album is a certified classic. Like, this is probably... So, there's a couple of albums that have series. And they, some say there's mixtape. There's mixtape. Uh, there are mixtapes, but... As far as uh, my, my number one album series is Move Music. That's the greatest series of all time to me. Then you have uh, Bar Exam. Then you have uh, Dedication. Then you have, uh, you know, PLOK series. And it's a bunch of other ones. You know, uh, 50 Cent, uh, John. So. This is rivaling mood music. This is right up there with it. These three is right up there with mood music. And Move Music Series is bit is untouchable to me. And this is up there with him. So what I'm saying is Ransom. First of all, let's get this out the way. Ransom is the best lyricist in the game right now. Period. Now, I'ma compare him to a Black Thought, and I'ma compare him to a Royce the Five Nine and an Eminem. Because those three and Kendrick, so I'm going to say those four, to me, are elite lyricists. Ransom is in that conversation now. Now, if you want to say that he's not better than them, but they're all elite. So you can, you can uh, you know, rotate them around if you wanted to. But those dudes are elite. He's in that class. Anybody beneath, anybody that's under that. So I've seen people comparing Ransom to Benny Butcher. Benny the Butcher. There's no comparison. No. Benny doesn't... Benny is a street rapper. Ransom is a street 
philosopher. He's much more than just a street rapper. That's the thing about Ransom. He's Ransom is he's like a new age Nas to me. You know what I'm saying? Like he literally is like a new age Nas to me. You know what I'm saying? And he's been out for a while. But it just goes to show you that the level up that he has taken, it just shows me that you can you can be better than what you was. Now, again, Ransom comes from a good a good background. He was he was he's always been good. But I think now he has come into his own to the point where I think he's gonna get the respect that he deserves. And people are going to start noticing. They're going to be like, who is this dude? Because every time I play Ransom in my car, when someone gets in my car, or even if I play him at my house, everybody asks me, yo, who is this dude? Everybody. Who is this dude? Yo, who is this? Yo, who is this dude? Like, yo, this dude is fire. Everybody. So I know he's like, He's like a, a small fire right now because people don't know who he is. But watch how fast he blow up. I remember he went from having, literally having like 4,000 followers on Instagram. He's up to like 12,000 right now. Probably by next, next month, he's going to probably be up to 100,000 because that's how fast he's catching on. Even though he's been out for a while, but he's just re reintroducing himself. And that's the beauty of it. Like, you, no one ever knew this dude has been good. But that's the thing. When you stick with something, it always pays off for you in the end. Because you are determined. And he found his niche. That's it. There's really nothing else to say. Ransom has found his niche. And I think that he's now going to go down as one of the elite lyricists of all time off of these three projects. And I heard features from him and he didn't slack not one time. So again, to compare him to Benny, um, it's a good comparison. I can understand that. But Ransom has too many layers for you to compare him to him. You would have to compare Ransom to somebody that's much more an elite lyricist. Because he's in that class now. He graduated. And it is what it is. So production wise on this album is great. Like I said. Lyrics is great. Content is great. Everything is great. I can't say anything about it. This is a certified 10. Straight 10. Certified. This is the best hip hop album I heard this year. There's nothing better than this right now. Nothing. This is clearly better than everything I heard. Now I heard some great albums. Freddie Gibbs album is great. That's a great album. Allegory is a great album. Mu mu uh, music to be murdered by, great album. Uh, Stove God Cooks, great album. But it ain't it ain't touching this. It's not. Sorry. This is clearly over top of these albums. Now, would it be something that may come out do better? I doubt it. But this so far, Scene Three, is my album of the year. Scene Two and Scene One. It's two. It's number two. So you already know. So again, I think a lot of rappers need to take notes because it ain't about the fame, the glamour, all the features. It ain't about all that. It's about what you can do to what you can do it to. If you can pull out some beats that are pretty good and you are good at that, stick with it. And that's what happened with Rant. So torture talk, man. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Certified classic. 10 out of 10. No doubt in that. Portrait talk. Tell your family about it.